there, fire friends. I hope you're doing wonderful. Thank you for joining me for another group session. And thank you to everyone who has either subscribed or become a follower on Instagram. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I'm so glad to have you with me. Now, friends, if you haven't joined me for a group reading before, please understand not all messages are going to resonate and that is totally fine. If you need a private session, please check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com. And of course, if you like these messages, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So guess what, fire signs? Guess what? It is love check-in time. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So I'm going to pull a couple of cards to see what the overall love energies are for you right now. We're going to do something just a little bit different. Oh, there it is already coming out. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to look at, for all of you guys who are in relationships, what's going on in the relationship, and then what is going on with your person. And then I'm also going to do some more cards for all of you who might be single fire signs and see if there's any love energies coming in for you. So interesting, the first love and romance card that already comes out is playfulness. Uh-huh, that's interesting. What it says here is to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, okay? And that's a message that a lot of us can really take on right now, especially with the heaviness of, you know, kids going back to school, we're not sure what this looks like, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Everyone's got a lot of stuff on their plate right now. And this card is inviting you to take a load off and remember that there are beautiful fun things in life not just within relationships but you know taking a step back from the stress and enjoying life and all of that good stuff everyone can benefit from that any other love messages for our fire signs here forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Now, isn't that the truth? Okay. And right now, anybody who's on an ascension journey, anybody who's on a spiritual journey, a healing journey, whatever you would like to call it, this is absolutely going to be stuff that's on your plate. Now, whether we're talking about relationships from way gone in the past or something that's on your plate right now, forgiving and learning is absolutely on everybody's plate because not only do you need to either forgive the people that are around you so that you can move forward, but it's also about understanding the lessons that come from the painful relationships, whatever that looks like. Because the whole point of going through something like that is to take a learning experience away from it so that we don't repeat the same mistakes, right? Right. Cool. So fire signs, for all of you fire signs who are in a relationship right now, let's check out what is going on between you and your partner, shall we? Shall we? Fire signs, please. Love check in for them and their partners. Fire signs, please. Okay, here we go. Here we go. There's the first one. This is where we're starting from. Yowza. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Woo. All right. So, Ten of Pentacles. Pentacles represent either um, your money, your career, your finances, but they also represent the tangible things in your life, the stuff that you can touch. Okay. And also talks about grounding, security, stability, and all of that. So, right now, with your relationship, this is kind of like the overall feel right now. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. So, you're either feeling really good in your relationship and like, wow, we're off to a good start and we're in the place where we need to be, or you're trying to to go in that direction. All right, what's going on for our fire sign? Show me them, show me my fire sign, show me their person, and show me the energy in between them in the past, present, and future. All right, oh dear, oh dear. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this fire signs because there's something going on here, there's something going on here, okay. So let's talk about the past. And you know, for some of you fire signs, I'm not sure when you got into this relationship, if you weren't trusting in this relationship or if you were just ending a relationship yourself and therefore not being really clear about where you're at and what you're ready for, etc. cetera, okay? Um, I do have this seven of swords for you in the future. So this is your energy. Now, I'm not throwing any shade your way, fire signs, but this can traditionally be the liar, cheater, sneaker card. I'm not calling you a liar, cheater, sneaker. What I'm saying, is like I already came out with what I feel like it is is that you either were coming out of a relationship and you didn't want to go into all of those details with that person or maybe you weren't feeling like I really know what's going on or that I'm not trusting of this situation meaning the new relationship you're going to and so either you were holding back a little bit meaning you were maybe holding back and putting your boundaries up a little bit this individual in the past your person okay ace of pentacles in reverse isn't that interesting that I have this kind 
coming out after the ten, after the ten of Pentacles. So this is telling me that when you first met this person, you weren't too sure about them. Maybe you thought that they were either throwing out false advertising, you know, like, hey, look at this great person I am, but really you're like, hmm, something's not right with that picture. As a result, this shows me that there was some either hesitance or hesitancy on your side or on both sides to really move into these energies between you. But the energy between you was the sun. So even though each of you were kind of bashful and hanging back at the beginning of the relationship, maybe a little bit not trusting, this card is telling me that both of you felt really good about this and were hoping that this was going to be the one. Moving forward to now, fire signs, here's your energy now, the fool, okay? Now, the fool does not mean you're foolish. The fool means we're thinking about taking a leap of faith in an area that we either have some knowledge or expertise or that we're familiar with, but we don't know how it's gonna work out, which would absolutely be the next step if I'm looking at where we came from of, I'm not really sure I understand the whole situation, not gonna give the game away, but I really, really like you, okay? So this tells me that maybe you gained a little bit more trust and a little bit more security and you're like I'm gonna jump into this I really want to see what this is all about your person though fire signs ten of swords in reverse hmm and I literally just hear the words hell no I won't go all right what's that mean for our fire our fire signs person I'm getting this feeling from this individual that perhaps they enjoy a good pity party now and then. And I'm not looking down on anybody for having a pity party per se, but it needs to be warranted, okay? But what this feels like to me is that it's possible your person brought some baggage with them and we all have baggage, okay? But I feel that this person isn't necessarily looking at how they contribute to a relationship in an honest way and perhaps at times would make up excuses over, well, I tried this and I tried this and I tried this and everything I tried, you know, didn't work out and wasn't my fault, it was their fault. But I also feel that this person may not be looking at their own personal situation with honest eyes, okay? This isn't to say that anyone going to get hurt. I know it looks like a morbid and scary card. Swords represent wisdom, knowledge, and truth, discernment, our brain. What do we know? Okay. So when this card comes like this, it's like, why am I trying? I've tried everything and it's not working. When it's like this, sometimes it means, okay, I'm telling you that I've tried everything and I'm acting as if my hands are tied, but it's really, I don't want to do the things that, you know, either you want me to do or what I should do to move forward. And your current energy and in the heart of the spread, I've got the chariot. So something wants to move. This is also about divine timing. So either you want to move forward in the relationship and you're ready, like I said, to give it a full try or waiting for someone to pull up their socks and maybe be honest with themselves. But there's energy here that says we can't stay in this place. We need to move forward, whether it's together or whether it looks different. Okay. Your energy in the future, fire signs, three of cups. Okay. Now, Three of Cups traditionally talks about socializing, perhaps going out and dating, meeting new people, going out. Now, yeah, a lot of us have been cooped up because of COVID, so this can absolutely mean you and your partner want to go out and have fun together, etc. But I feel that for you, this means that because this person isn't necessarily joining your party in the way that they that you want them to, that you're kind of moving on possibly without them or saying, hey, come with me. Well, if you're not going to come, I'm going to go have fun anyways, okay? So that's your energy and interestingly enough I have three tens coming out here okay because I had that ten of pentacles and then your partner has the ten of swords in reverse and in their future is the ten of wands in reverse and this really kind of goes hand in hand with this you know how I was saying with this one it's possibly someone making up excuses or not looking at their contribution into the relationship with honest eyes and you know um, I tried this I tried this and nothing worked that's kind of like this in a way this card is like, oh, it's all on me, poor me, perhaps someone who doesn't have enough time to dedicate to a relationship because whatever's going on on their side, they feel like they're doing it alone. And that's not to say they feel they're working in the relationship alone. What that feels like is all the stuff that this person has on their side, whether it's career, whether it's money, whether it's kids, whatever that might look like. This person has got a lot going on in their side and so they're like, mm, don't know how much attention I can give to you. I do feel with it coming in reverse that this person is going to, let's just say, 
maybe see that you are not waiting around or not joining them in their pity party, whatever that might look like on your side. And as a result, the energy in between you guys, I got the queen of wands in reverse. This makes me feel that you feel that you are possibly confused about the future, about this relationship and where it's going. And that even though you've taken a step out to kind of go do your own thing and be in control of your own destiny and your own happiness, it's making you feel like, am I second, you know, like second guessing yourself? Is this the right thing for me? Okay. Hmm. Going right along with playfulness and forgiving and learning, right? So fire signs, all of you guys who are in a relationship right now, it's time to call the spade a spade and to ask the honest questions of your partner and say, hey, this is what's going on with me. This is what I got going on. What say you? Because, you know, if we're all adults at the table here, there's no reason why we can't have an open and honest conversation about what everybody wants, right? Let's talk a little bit more about your partner, though. Whoa. Okay, yeah, your partner's making some decisions too. Two of Wands, okay? Two of Wands, notice the world in this person's hand. Two of Wands is somebody who wants to make a decision and knows that they have to make a decision. This possibly could have to do with, am I moving? Am I going you know, to different ventures? Am I going different places? Is this no longer the place for me? So definitely your person either knows and understands and can feel what's going on in the waters between you guys or they see that you're thinking of other things and they're not really sure what to do here almost like waiting for you to make the move okay there's another card can i have one more card please to represent our fire signs person what's their energy one more card please there it is oh it almost fell off oh ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, fire signs. Okay, so you know how in the last reading, the last card that came out in between you guys was the queen of wands in reverse? Yowza, we got the king of wands in reverse, okay? So nobody here at the table is really feeling 100% confident about where they sit in the relationship or possibly the future of the relationship. Again, this isn't gonna be for everybody. If this resonates for you, you're gonna know it. If it doesn't resonate for you, that's okay. If you are solid in your relationship and you're like, oh my God, Kelly, what are you trying to tell me? It's not for you, okay? Not for you. I won't click into everybody's energy all the time about everything okay but for some of you there are decisions that need to be made because you and your counterpart are not totally feeling it right now and I think the truth needs to come out and you guys need to have a heart-to-heart -heart about what is the future here I also see the strength card coming up which is about divine timing and kind of willpower and putting your nose to the grindstone to make sure this goes through so this means there very well might be difficult conversations that you guys have to have but Sometimes that's exactly what you need in order to either get progress, whether it's together or whether it's not. Sorry, fire signs. I know it wasn't the best sort of message for you there, but you know I will never lie to you. Never, ever. So for all of our single fire friends, is there anything coming up for us? Single friends, please. Single fire friends. What are the love energies coming in for our single fire friends? Okay. All right. So, heads up, single fire friends. Now, this could also even be some of you guys who were in a relationship and perhaps might choose to leave the relationship because interestingly enough, we're starting off with the queen of wands in reverse again. So, you are either leaving the relationship or you are feeling like, you know, I'd really like to have something in my life. Where's the fire? Where's the passion? Bring back the excitement, okay? But I do see energy coming down the line. I do see another partnership, but we're talking about about somebody who maybe doesn't have your best intentions in mind and possibly their own. Sometimes when the magician in reverse comes forward, it's kind of like um, an emotional manipulator card, okay? So if you have someone coming forward to you and you're like, did I read that wrong? Did I send them the wrong impression? Why are they acting like that? Maybe I should double back and all of this. Just be aware that you might be reading it 100% correct, okay? I also have the six of wands in reverse, which to me would say this is not going to work out in the long run all right then I also have the hangman in reverse what this tells me is you have choice you have options here fire signs you don't have to stick around to the bitter end to see if it works and you know how some people just kind of commit to the task even though they know it's not working so this is telling me your hands are not tied in this situation fire signs I don't think that this is going to be for you long term if you want to go and have some fun no problem just be open and honest with yourself about what you really want 
I hope this helped fire friends. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you soon.